So in this video here, we're going to see how we can split videos with the Filmora tool. We're also going to take a look at some of the cool AI features they have for video editing and so on. Could be that you have large videos, could be that you have outputs from computer vision AI systems and so on that you basically just want to cut. They can cut based on scenes. We can see how we can cut it directly in the editor as well. And they also have a bunch of other cool AI features like image enhancer. It can go in and do auto reframe with AI. Voice enhancer, it can also go in and do AI translation of your videos. So let's just jump straight into the tool. This can be used for a ton of different things, but let's take a look at how we can cut and also split videos. So we just opened up Filmora here from Wondershare. You can go in and check it out on the website, download directly, and you can get started right out of the box. So they have a bunch of new cool AI features here. So we can just scroll down and see a couple of them, but they also have this smart scene cut. So when we're talking about splitting videos, cutting videos together, it can detect the different scenes, cut them up, and then you can actually just merge them together to one single video. So it can save you a ton of time and make you more productive. But if you're just looking at the AI features, they have this AI translation. So it's basically just going to translate translate the audio or the voice from your videos and then it can act like we translate it into more than 20 languages which is pretty awesome we also have the ai voice enhancer also like basically just image and video enhancing if you want to improve the quality of your videos so all these different ai features are already integrated into it here directly so this is pretty cool and we're going to take a look at some of them so first of all here, we can just go in and create a brand new project. If you want to do any of the other stuff, AI translation, smart scene generation, and so on, you can just go in and use it directly from here. Right now, I'm just going to show you how we can cut a video. We can choose a video file. So right now, I'm just going to take this one from the output from an AI model. We just match to the media. So this is the input format that we're getting. Now we have it down here on our timeline. And with the Filmora tool, it is pretty easy. We just have this tracker so we can just drag it back and forth and then we have this cutting tool we can just click and it will actually like split the videos so we can split the videos into multiple chunks let's say that we have a large file we have an interview podcast or whatever it could also just be the outputs from our ai models project and so on that we want to cut up and merge together or basically just get the highlights so this is pretty much the easiest tool to use for that you can do it on all platforms but here's just command b control b and so on and it's going to cut up the videos or split it in multiple chunks. So this is very easy. You don't have to find a tool. You can just use it directly. And they also have these AI based tools that can go in and do auto detection of the scenes and then do this automatically for you. So right now, let's just go back here again before we split up the video. Basically the video comparing a SAM2 model with a Samurai model. So this is a new better version. They're just doing a side by side comparison. So this is pretty cool. We don't really have multiple scenes in this video here, but we can still go in and use AI-based text editing, image enhancer, and all those AI features. And while we're inside a project, inside Filmora, they also have a bunch of different templates which can be used out of the box. So they both have all the AI features, but all these templates as well. So for example, if you want to do something cool like video in video, so you basically just have a video screen here or like a TV monitor and you can put your logo, your videos and so on inside of it. And we have these very nice templates. So we have a bunch of different templates you can use out of the box depending on if you want to create like a slideshow, real estate, countdown, vlogging, birthday. Doesn't really matter what you want. You have all these different templates. So you can just take a look at them to see how your videos would look like if you're using them out of the box. We can also have a vintage counter. You've probably seen some of these before. If you were to create them yourselves, it will take a very long time where here we can just use them out of the box. So they have some pretty cool ones. Definitely go and check them out as well. If you're inside Filmora, it will save you a ton of time, but also make you more productive and your visualizations better. So for example, here we have the energy fitness. When you click on it, it's just going to download it and you can just find all these different templates. You can also filter them, but this is significantly better than trying to come up with it yourself. If you're, for example, taking the output from the AM models, want to create some nice visualizations on top of it, it's a very good option to use the templates as well. So right now we can just cut the video up, use the AI tools to do the editing, video enhancing, and then also apply the templates. And we pretty much don't need to do any manual work for doing video editing. So if you just click on the video, we go inside the AI tools. So if you take a look at it, we also have this AI video enhancer. We can just generate that because right now our video file is very low resolution. Could be that we want to show our results in a report, project page, or to customers and clients and so on. So that is very cool 
AI feature as well directly on the platform. So normally you have to use separate tools and so on. Here on Filmora, you can just use it directly out of the box. So when you cut up these videos here, you can just save them. You can use them for different projects. Could be that you have multiple examples, output examples from your projects. You just want to cut them up. Then you can just export them here in the top right corner and you're pretty much good to go. So now we can see that the output results are actually enhanced. So we have higher resolution on our images and this actually like looks a bit better compared to the original video because it was actually like very low resolution. Again, I'll just make it full screen here so you can better see what's going on. There we go. And after we have done the AI video enhancer, we can basically just take a look at it. I've exported the video. We can do the exact same thing if we cut our videos so we can use them for individual projects. But here in the top, we can see that we have the image enhanced videos. So it looks significantly sharper compared to the output down at the bottom, which was the raw video. So this is pretty awesome. Let's just check the results here. So in the top, we're playing with the AI video enhancer. So it looks significantly more clear, where it's a bit blurry, especially when he's running down at the bottom. So when we're outside here on the main screen before we create a project, we can also go inside the AI toolbox. So this is definitely some very cool AI models that you can use out of the box. So if we just take a look at them, so right now we can see we have Smart Scene Cup, Video AI Enhancer, we tested that out. We also have AI voice cloning, if you want to clone voice, add text to it and so on, AI face mosaic, AI optic remover, could be that you have optics in your videos, people and so on that you want to get out of the video. You can basically just remove them with the drawing tool. It is going to use AI for that as well. Silent detection, AI based test editing, AI styling and all of that, even just AI image generation. So you can just throw in a prompt to it. They can also generate AI music. So right now you can just describe what you want to generate in your image. Just say car, we can generate. It's going to generate an image for us. Of course, we can have way more detailed prompts. You've probably tested out the stable diffusion models, Dolly model and so on from OpenAI. So this is the exact same way. Throw in your prompt, make a very detailed description of your image and you can use those images directly in your video projects as well. So now we have a cool image of a car. We can directly use it in here together with the templates and also to all the other AI based tools. So this is how we can use the Filmora tool to split up videos, use them in individual projects and also just show our project work. Could be results, could be interview podcasts and so on. And they also have all these other AI features can be used directly out of the box. But this cutting feature here where we can split up the videos is very easy to use. Definitely go in and check it, test it out. And then I'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy splitting.